Good stuff. You know what? So many people will be able to relate to what Nadine is going through. So, Martha, do you feel like Nadine is in a better space when it comes to her emotions and how they affect her ideas about money? Absolutely. Nadine is in a much better place because we were focused on what she wanted mm -hmm. and then connected with her money story. And from there, we could build on that platform. Tracy, there's so much in our lives that we can want, and especially when it comes to money, but so much can get in the way of that. And mm -hmm. we can, you know, get caught in a loop or end up, you know, back where we started or further back from, from where we started. The key thing is that to achieve what it is that we want, we must make the space for it. And break down what you mean by that. How, like, what do you mean by making space? Absolutely. So what I'm referring to is making space from the inside out. Mm -hmm. So much of finance is focused on the outside world. And if we focus on Nadine, we could focus just on the room. The thing is that that all started somewhere. It started in our life experiences and those emotional associations that we've internalized. Okay. So we start on the inside, right? And, and what, what does that journey look like? So we start then by focusing on what it is that we want. Sound like a simple idea, right? It does. It does. Yeah. But in so many ways, it's actually not easy okay. because finances is focused on suppression. Yes. Right? And it's punitive. It's very punitive. Absolutely. Yeah. And we see that in the way we start the conversation in the first place. Mm -hmm. We'll start it by all the I don't want statements, mm -hmm. right? I don't want to end up in debt. Mm -hmm. I don't want to end up with no money at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Things like that. And so this is why I share my pothole theory, right? So, okay. Tracy, if you visualize yourself driving, yeah. beautiful road, no traffic in sight, but there happens to be a pothole in the distance. Okay. And then all you say to yourself is, I don't want to hit that pothole. I don't want to hit that pothole. I don't want to hit that pothole. Mm -hmm. What do you think is likely going to happen? You're probably going to go right in the pothole. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It's hides. like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It is yeah. because you know, you're focused on what you don't want. And that's yeah. often what happens when it comes to our finances and focusing on the past. We allow the past to define us. Instead, we can command it in a way that refines us. Focus on what you want and then create the space for it. Okay, so if we don't, like, what are the right questions to be asking ourselves then in order to not go in the pothole? Yes, yeah, so ask yourself what it is that's renting out space from you. What's taking that focus? Now, the way you can do that is by connecting with your own self-talk, Okay. right? So the words that we use are powerful. The thing is, the reason we use them didn't just happen overnight. It happened over time. Mm -hmm. Our journey developed those words. So when we connect with those words, mm -hmm. we can embrace the feeling we have around them, better understand our belief system, mm -hmm. and then change our financial results in the long term. This is one of the things you were doing with Nadine. So show us an example of how we can identify and work through what is taking up space, because that's also a process. Absolutely. So in Nadine's case, she has a goal to purchase her home, right? She's working yeah. towards that. And so keeping that in mind, I was listening to her self-talk. Yeah. Now here's an example of something that she would repeat. She would say, I'll always be a renter. Mm -hmm. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being a renter, right? Mm -hmm. But for Nadine's goal, is that kind of self-talk going to help her towards her goal or hold her back? If she wants to be an owner, it's not going to help. Absolutely. And is the feeling behind I'll always be a renter positive or negative? Well, it depends on how she sees it. So if yeah. she, like, there's nothing wrong with renting, but if yes. you don't want to be one, then stop saying you're always going to be one. That's exactly right. So mm -hmm. she has that negative feeling associated mm -hmm. with it, and that repeated creates her belief system and yeah. ultimately the result can hold her back from being an owner. But in embracing her money story, we could shift that to instead affirming, I am an owner. Mm -hmm. Now she feels really differently about herself in the conversation. It's far more positive, mm -hmm. repeated. She now believes herself as an owner from the inside out, owning her space mm -hmm. and then the result being what she truly 
wants. Love that. Okay. Well, this is Nadine's story. I think that there are so many people listening right now that are thinking, I need to apply this to myself. So what is the key takeaway for all of us here? So the key takeaway is that we can normalize a conversation mm -hmm. that we've been taught mm -hmm. and expected to suppress, yeah. something that we're taught not to talk about. We can learn from each other by mm -hmm. connecting and normalizing the financial conversation, starting with the missing piece, what we talked about here, the way that we feel. Okay, beautiful. I love that. All connected. Thank you, Martha, for breaking all this down for us. And guess what? She is also going to leave you with a copy of her international bestseller on Amazon, Cleopatra's Riches. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. You're all going to get one of these uh, gorgeous lady right there. Let's go to break. Thank you so much. Stay with us.